On this episode of RC Kicks, we're checking out this, the just release Astute 2022. Is it any good? In the UK, the 2022 Astute has now been sent out, so if you've got one on order, you should be receiving it already or any day now. Before we open up the box, let's go back and look at the namesake and where it came from. So we kick off with the original Astute, 3rd of September 1989, when the Astute went on sale. Now, unfortunately, this has never been reread, so prices have continued to go up and up and up. And being that we've now got the 2022, what's the likelihood? that we're going to get a re of the original i'm going to say probably slim very slim indeed unfortunately as this is one of those cars that a lot of people would really love to get hold of and now prices have gone absolutely stupid now i look today in the uk Prices vary from around 205 for a rolling chassis, all the way up to 510 for a reasonably nice one not a complete mint one and a new inbox one sold for £965 recently. Yeah, they're sold prices, they're not asking prices. This, my Pride and Joy one, is as sorted as I can get it. And I'm really happy being that it's got a full original body, original decals, and it has the correct tyres. Uh, if, if you have one of these, you'll know that these front tyres are almost impossible to get hold of, and you will spend an insane amount of money trying to get them. So that was the kit 580. 80, and that's where it all started. Then we got the Super Astute under kit 58097. Now some of you might not realize that the Super Astute actually came out while the Astute was still available. They overlapped. On the 27th of August 1991 the Super Astute came on for sale and it ran to 1993 so that was two years. So not very long. It did have some upgrades like it got a different gearbox, it got a TCC gearbox, as well as it lost the rear toe-in adjustment that you got on the Astute, which kind of made the back section a little bit wobbly and a bit all over the place. But the idea was the original Astute, you could tune it as much as you like. So they simplified some of it, as well as a few other bits and pieces. Now, my one that I have here is a re-release, which we'll come on to in a minute, but it does have some modifications that are not the standard box art like the wheels. We skip all the way forward to the 12th of January 2019, when we got the Super Astute Riri under kit 47381. Pretty much identical to the original one, and that's the one that you see mostly around at the moment. Even though it's been out since 2019, they're still floating around, so that's where most of the sort of cars come from. Some people actually go back and convert it to look like an Astute, because the body is pretty much identical, you can just paint it up and if you can get the reproduction decals, you can actually make your Super Astute look like an Astute, even though technically it's not. Now being that the Super Astute was re-released, prices are a little bit lower. I went on today and I had a look at some sold prices and you're currently looking at £234 for a running kind of car. Condition is probably towards the bottom end, up to £380 for a good one. So you can see the prices are quite different and a new inbox one today is selling for £440. Now since we have the Super Astute re, -re I can see why would Tamiya re-release the Astute being that they've already done it. It would be quite easy for them to do it but I don't think they will look and say well we brought out the Super Astute why, which is a better buggy why would we go back and release the Astute. And that brings us up to the 2022 chassis. Now this is a TD2 chassis which is very close to the TD4 chassis we've seen released recently for the Super Avanti. Now I did a full build of this I'll put a link up up here go check it out if you haven't seen that before as some of the advantages the pros the cons and the negative aspects of it and what I thought about it. Now I'm staying open-minded for the 2022 Astute and I must admit personally I think it is a little bit better looking mainly because of the colors really and it's nice to see that it still kind of sits quite close to the original color scheme. As for the chassis well it's not going to be massively different to the TD4 but we'll open the box up see what you get inside and then we'll take a deep dive and then we'll build it. So let's see what you get in the box for your money. The box art is lovely as always. Tamiya have consistently been able to produce brilliant artwork for their boxes, and this is no exception. So this is what you're presented with. It's not a blister pack uh, setup. It's kind of their sort of standard issue, if you will, where you get your box of bits, and then everything's kind of shoved into these two sections with a divider in the middle, usually with a bit of branding. So let's start off with the body aspect. Now you will be at some point able to get painted bodies for this, whether they'll do the same as they did for the uh, Super Avanti where you could actually get a fully painted one or not, or whether it will just be a body set, I honestly don't know. 
But being that it's pretty much all one color, it shouldn't be that difficult to paint up. Rims, obviously being two wheel drive, the front rims are much thinner than the rear ones. Uh, I quite like those and I wonder what they would look like on the Super Avanti. Hmm, might have to try that and see. Then, oh, that's, so there we've got the arms, no different to the Super Avanti. Very sturdy, very strong arms and also some hexes and a few other little bits and pieces. Then we have what looks like a part for the front suspension, which is very different. So the battery runs along the back of the chassis, not along the center, obviously to improve the weight distribution for a two wheel drive buggy over a four wheel drive. So we've got a battery clip and a load of plastic shims <laughs> and some plastic gears. Then we've got the tires, standard square spikes on the rear and then groove front tires. And then we have the chassis. Now I don't know if this is different or 100% exactly the same as the Super Avanti. I honestly don't know. I'll have to have a look and check on that one, whether some of the front is different or whether it's exactly the same and you can just swap them between the two kits. Then a large tree. What's this? Oh, I have no idea. Top of a diff housing steering aspects and that's it now obviously this kit doesn't come with a slipper clutch which is a bit of a shame I'll have to add that but getting the hop-ups for this car is just as difficult in the UK currently as the um, TD4 it's really not easy to find the hop-ups and there's a few hop-ups you really need to have the diff nut the diff nut lock in this one is plastic should have been metal from the off trying to get replacements i have some on order but they still haven't turned up and it's been about a month now so i haven't done my driving uh, super vanti either then we have masks and stickers not too difficult looking a lot more than what you actually think when you look at it on the box but that should be reasonably easy then we have the manual then we have the driver standard issue what this you've got two drivers why are there two heads how weird is that you get two driver heads how strange one with the visor down and one with the visor up Ooh, there we go suspension parts more suspension parts a bag which has the motor mount full diff more suspension parts that's a servo saver b tree is your ball diff parts and the dog bones but some bearings you do get some in this kit and the red springs which is different to what you had in the super Avanti. that was just gray unless you got the upgrade kit which had the yellow chassis and the yellow springs d bags tree again some front red shocks and more bearings has this kit come with all its bearings wow that'll be a first and then we get some other little bits and pieces the tool and then we've got some more suspension parts right let's cut to a montage so you can take a good look and then we'll come back to wrap up
So there you go, there's a quick look at the 2022 Astute from Tamiya. Now there is a option version to get one that's got a pre-painted body, so if painting's not your thing, that might be a better way to go. Um, also, looking through this, I didn't see any copper bearings, so I think this one comes with all its bearings. Until I lay it all out and look at the manual, I'm not, I won't be sure, but I think it does. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe, and this build will be coming to the channel soon.